What is going on my broskies? My name is Totski and I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video guys I am bringing you guys a breakdown or a playthrough of the teams that I used in order to take down Colosseum X Drake. Now I know not everyone's going to have the exact same teams as me but remember guys these are just videos that I use of the teams that I used in order to actually take on this Colosseum. So anyways guys hope you guys do go on to enjoy the video and if you guys do go on to enjoy it make sure to smack the like button down below but without further ado guys, let's get straight into the video. So first stage against Colosseum Drake, we are going to go ahead and use a double raid Blackbeard team against the first stage, which is going to be against Zeph. Now I am using the Dex Pirate Knight, uh, Zombie Knight character to lower our attack because when we enter the next room, uh, the preemptive attack of Zeph will go ahead and lower our cruise attack. So we do not want that to happen. So that's why we go ahead and do that in the turn prior so that Zeph's attack lowering does not occur. He also will go ahead and halve our HP. So we're going to go ahead and utilize the double raid boss Blackbeard to do a ton of damage to Zeph and kill off all of the surrounding pirate characters. And then we're going to use really nice orb manipulators with Wapple and Kuma to get matching orbs, 1.75 orb boost, a 1.5 type boost, and we can take down Zeph in a single turn. So I hope you guys did enjoy that one and I'll see you guys at round number two. So round number two is against Jean Bart. He has 6.49 million HP and he does have a 10 hit barrier. So basically meaning that you can't bring generic health cutters. You pretty much have to bring legend lore to enable them or you have to go ahead and bring legend, I was going to say raid blackbeard, but legend blackbeard in order to take on this guy if you want to use health cutters. Uh, or you can go ahead and bring a, a really powerful quick team. Definitely double NL would probably work without a doubt. The other thing is you'd probably need to, you know, rely on some food orbs, picking up some food orbs every now and again, but, you know, John Bart only attacks every two turns, so you do have that to uh, to worry about, so that's fine, and you can delay him as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, when John Bart gets below 50% of health, though, he will go ahead and lower his interval of his attack, so he'll go ahead and berserk, and he also rises his attack as well, so he ends up hitting for 14,000 damage when he's below 50%, so... Definitely going to make sure that you know about that, but uh, I would probably recommend getting close to 50% and then go ahead and activate all your specials and then try and burst him down. That's what I did. Worked very, very well. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys on round three of Chaos Coliseum Drake. Round number three of Chaos Coliseum Drake is against... Foxy. Now, Foxy is actually kind of annoying because his premium attack will go ahead and seal both of your captains for five turns. So, ideally, what you want to do here is you want to definitely go ahead and delay him because you can delay here, which is nice. Uh, ideally, Strong One Usopp is probably the best delayer as you get that health cut as well. And then what you want to try and do is just stall out those two turns of the chaining of your captain. So definitely have level 3 anti-chain on your team so that you can get out of those binding as quick as possible. And then you want to go ahead and just do as much damage as possible. The surrounding pirates don't really have that much HP. They have, I think it's around 350,000. So definitely you can go ahead and, you know, work your way around that. This shouldn't be too difficult. But Foxy himself might be a little bit of a challenge as he does have nearly 2 million health. So you have to deal with a lot of those pirates with uh, a little bit of tanky health, and then also Foxy himself does have a lot of HP as well. Uh, but all in all, they don't actually do too much under 50% or 20%. Don't really have to deal with too much. But anyways, I'll see you guys on round 4 of Colosseum Drake. Round 4 of Colosseum Drake is against Gladius. Now, Gladius has 3.7 million health, and he'll go ahead and change all of your orbs to bomb pretty much every second turn. So, he actually can be quite annoying to deal with. So, definitely bringing someone that can potentially change bomb orbs, like Raid Boss Kuma, would be exceptional for this raid or this uh, this dungeon. So, a Raid Boss Kuma would be an amazing unit. Uh, but if you get him below 50%, he does 11,000 damage. And if you get him below 20%, he does 90,000 damage. So, you definitely want to try and burst him down from around 50% to make sure that you aren't taking too much damage from this guy. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the final round of Colosseum X Drake.
So now we move on to the final stage, which is against Colosseum X Drake. But on stage four, we do have to challenge Gladius once again. Gladius is a little bit easier this time. He has much less HP, so we can deal with him a little bit easier. Now, what I am bringing this time around is Raid Boss Kuma, so that on turn one, or after turn one, we can change all the bomb orbs into matching orbs. We can lock those orbs with our Kiji for two turns, so we can take them into Colosseum X Drake, which is nice. And uh, obviously, we are going to activate the double time skill Luffy special to get uh, the attack boost. But let's talk about X-Drake. Okay, so X-Drake has 3 million and 50,000 HP. And he attacks every two turns for 9,152 damage. And his preemptive attack will apply a debuff protector for 99 turns. So you can't delay him, you can't lower his defense, you can't poison him or anything. Now, when he gets below 40%, he'll go ahead and uh, Berserk, and he'll also raise his defense. So when he raises his defense, you're not going to be doing a lot of damage to him. Because that defense rise is pretty significant. And when you get him below 20%, he'll do 13,000 damage every turn he goes to attack. He'll basically buff his attack, so got to watch out for that. And when you actually kill X-Drake, he does 10,024 damage. So if you don't have at least 10,025 HP, you're actually going to lose your run. So you do have to be very, very careful about that. But that is going to conclude this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys did, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.